हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स आज हम स्टार्ट करेंगे अपना ओरेक्टल uh, वाला पार्ट इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी विल लर्न हाउ टू यूज ओरेक्कल एंड रन सम बेसिक क्वेरीज इन टू दैट एंड हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट अवर वर्क स्पेसिस सो आफ्टर इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ ओरेक्कल यू विल सी सच कैन दिस काइंड ऑफ दिस काइंड ऑफ आइकन इज अवेलेबल इन यूर स्क्रीन ओरेक्कल इलेवन जी एक्सप्रेस एडिशन फॉर डेटा बेस Uh, you just need to double click on that and uh, the interface will open up so you will find this kind of interface when you will start running the oracle uh, there are number of options are available here fine for it, but for this particular class we, we will be focusing on application express part and you need to click on this part so when you click here uh, you will see that you need to enter a username and a password uh, this user id and password will be provided by your lab instructor when you will start uh, 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 doing some practical in your laboratory or if you have purchased a license so uh, during installation you have to provide the id and password it will be same as the uh, it will be the id and password will be the same uh, which what you have entered during the installation process uh, in this case uh, my user id is system and password i have kept it to be tiger so i will press login uh, so you will see this 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 screen when you will log in into the system so initially you can create multiple uh, users because uh, they when you are developing an application so multiple user will be working on that so you can create your workspace so first of all let's uh, uh, create a workspace so we need to create a workspace so i will i clicked on that so similarly i need to enter database username fine so what i can do i can write is system db i named it system db express uh, application express username i will call it uh, you can say gcr db okay the password you need to enter a password again i'm using uh, tiger as a password here so you can choose your own uh, password that you want to use and then click on create workspace okay now you will see we have created an uh, id and password and you can say workspace so you will see successfully created a workspace uh, workspace system did we db to begin click here so you can log into that using by click that just a click karo you will see this screen here you need to just type that password that you have created for your workspace and login fine uh, just you have login pe press karo you will see these four op options here application builder sql workshop tab dev team development and, and administration uh, in this particular as per as, as per as our syllabus is concerned course is concerned we will be talking about sql only uh, these all these other things will be taught into your advanced courses so for using sql you need to click on that fine so you will see this kind of interface uh, when you will run when you click on the sql interface right so let's see how to run a simple command so i want to know i will run a simple command like i want to know how many tables are there in the database for that i have a command called select star from tab right i have selected i have typed this line then i will select it and then i'll press run the moment i'll run it you will see the output this is my output here you can also download this output now these are the number of tables which are already available into my database fine these are the uh, tables okay now what i want to do i want to create a table fine this is a very basic command you need to create tables you need to create views uh, you need to get some data from the tables so one of the basic uh, command to create uh, uh, tables uh, we usually use create table command for that as we have to create multiple tables when we learn about sql and when we create databases so the syntax is oh, i will write a simple command uh, uh, 
regarding other syntax and fee different features of create table command we will learn them in different classes here i will be creating a simple uh, table using create table command so that you can run your basic queries so command is create table uh, suppose you have to choose your name and the suppose is b walk create table b walk then followed by a parenthesis then you will have to provide all the things uh, like variables and their data types to create a table then like it will be like name then i will say care character type ka name hai fine 20 uh, then i can say father name i'll say care 20 now this 20 is a uh, length of the string means uh, jo the the name the name length whatever name you will enter into the database it, it cannot exceed 20 characters similarly father name cannot exceed 20 characters so let's try to run this particular command so you will see here table created and the time taken to create the table is 0 0.029 seconds yeah so now what i will do i will let's see uh, the structure of the table so that i can use a command called describe table t e s e describe table name the the, the name of the table was b walk that's b walk then i will uh, run it now you will see that this is the structure of the my table description of my table one is name this care length is 20 father name care 20 clear now let's see what what exists into my database database can there hack here for that i will have to use select command select start from the walk right so now i want to know ki table mein store kya kiya then i will run, run. it says no data found ki it says ki there is nothing into b walk table so I need to insert some data into the pre-work table. For that, what I will do, uh, I will insert some data into the table. For that, I have a insert into table command. Let's try to run this command. Column not allowed here, so there is some syntax mistake here. So I need to replace the double quotes with single quotes. So all of you will have to take care of that also. Now you will see actually this command is a success and the message is one row inserted. Ek row mein paas insert ho hai. Now again what I will do, I will run this command. Select star from vbook. Now I want to see ki kya data in the data dala hai. So let's run it. So you will see Ram and Dashrath. Theek hai? So this is the data that uh, we have entered into the database. So we will be studying all our SQL commands in detail in the coming classes. So this was the basic uh, information regarding how to use a DBMS and how to run some basic commands. Uh, with this I would like to uh, thank you people for listening to this class. Thank you.